Of course, as we've known, Oklahoma has been getting pounded. Our Dave Malkoff is in Bridge Creek, Oklahoma, just southwest of Oklahoma City, to talk about how people are dealing with the damage there. Good morning, Dave. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Al. As you look around this neighborhood, every single house has some kind of damage. This one blown away in an instant in that tornado. But this story is about storm shelters. They have an upside, but they also, as you're about to learn, have a downside. For the people who live in a neighborhood called Barrington Park, the tornado was just the start of their problem. Josh and Katie Longest live here, or should I say they used to. Together with their three little kids, they wrote it out in this tiny metal box. It was loud, the kids were screaming and crying. And the house came apart on them, wind howling, pressure dropping. My kids kept saying that our ears hurt. They said, it hurts, mommy, it hurts. We were trapped in here because this latch had fallen shut and debris had landed on it. This is their neighbor. He deserves a hug. Wayne Blethro, the hero of Barrington Park, who has no storm shelter. I wrote it out in the house in the bathroom. See, seconds after that tornado passed, Wayne went running all the way to that shelter next door. It was covered in bricks and a heavy garage door. I grabbed it up and pulled it out. Inside, things were not good. Flash flood waters were rushing in. There was a gas leak as well. It was like a waterfall. It was just coming in on all edges, just pouring in. There was nowhere you could sit in here where water was not dripping on you. It was still raining pretty hard and still a little bit of wind. As soon as I heard his voice and knew somebody was out there, it was an instant relief. I knew somebody knew where we were at, then they were going to work hard to get us out. They were ready to come out. <laughs> Let's talk about the scope of this for a second. You can notice all this debris hanging from trees was once part of someone's home. In fact, Almost every single home in this neighborhood sustained some kind of damage, but the only number you really need to understand is zero. Zero people killed in any of these homes because they knew where to go and when to get there. Shelters saved lives here, but trapped inside with water pouring in, that is when you need a hero who went on to save even more lives. You saved six people yesterday, yet you seem very matter of fact about it. It's it would have done the same for me. I was in the right place at the right time. Now, Josh and Katie say they are going to rebuild, but once they do rebuild, Al, they say they're, because of their experience, they're going to rethink the under the garage model of yeah. their shelter. Boy, I, I, that's a, a part of this I would have never thought about, Dave. An amazing story. Thanks for sharing that. Was really appreciated. Well, the other story we are watching, of course, subtropical storm Anna.